What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be talking about a review and demonstration of Internet Explorer 10 for both Windows 7 and both Windows and Windows 8. And I'm currently running Windows 7 as you see. And this is Windows 7 Professional with Service Pack 1. But note one thing, Service Pack 1 will be required if you're going to ins if you want to install Internet Explorer 10 on Windows 7. But let's get on, shall we? We're going to be talking about one of the most things. Sorry, let's start talking about the user interface. Did they change the user interface on Internet Explorer 10? As you see that they changed it up a little bit where the tabs would be and not where the tabs would be like the look of the tabs and the scroll box and other and the other things that it still retains the user interface of Internet Explorer 9 and I'm going to show you the about box of Internet Explorer 10 and this is the RTM also known as the final version but when the, the I mean um, Internet Explorer 10 for Windows 8 was already out when Windows 8 was shipped back in October of 2012 so this is the Windows 7 version in the Windows 7 version they had fixed a lot of software bugs And we're going to show you, and I'm going to show you an HTML5 test to see if it's good, if it's any good with like HTML5. And I'm going to slow down scrolling to let y'all guys see the scores and all the other good stuff that it can support but I know some of you may not care to see but if you want to look at it you can just simply pause the video But I ain't gonna show everything because that's because many people wouldn't care to see it anyway. Well, let's talk about some of the new features, which I'm gonna try and pull it up. And you got something new like the tracking protection, and you can get a tracking list online. which I ain't going to be u downloading one because I'm not going to fully be using Internet Explorer and it has spelling correction which is pretty new to Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer never had spell correction and as you see it's set to my default language and default country and you still got your search providers you could still disable like certain add-ons and all that other good stuff and you still got your accelerators but let's move on and it's supposed to improve CSS3 support and HTML5 and I'm going to show you the new user agent that's the new user agent in the Windows 8 version of Internet Explorer 10 it comes with Adobe Flash Player integrated I'm going to show you a capability that you can still do with Internet Explorer 10 like you, what you did on Internet Explorer 9 you can simply drag that tab and pin it to the taskbar to make certain websites like certain so-called apps 
you have the Internet Explorer. If you use certain common sites, but um, I'm going to unpin this. Cause it's not like I'm going to be using Internet Explorer. So why bother? I probably got to exit out and exit, pull it back up. And I'm going to also talk about the um, Metro version, even though I don't have Windows 8. The Metro version has the address box at the bottom, so it even has a new feature called Flip Ahead. But there's going to be some discontinued features like they removed stuff like DirectX filters and the vector markup language. And I'm probably going to also pull up the discontinued features while on according to Wikipedia. Even though um, shouldn't be pulling s stuff up while I'm recording, though I just didn't want to get my mind get s messed up and get stuttered. Sorry for that. And the element behaviors and the HTML components are actually been discontinued. And actually, the XML data islands, which I was meaning to trying to say, are part of the discontinued features have been removed and yes and here's the actual stuff I've been reading up on Wikipedia about Internet Explorer 10 so yeah and there's going to be a download link in the description and um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.